I'm Jeff Boyce Cars. This is my Volvo 960 that I didn't mean to buy. I was only trying to buy a roof rack and I've uh, ended up with another Volvo. Hello and welcome to the very first Jeff Buys Cars, Jeff Sells Cars car sales video. This is my Volvo 960 3 litre 24 valve 1996 in uh, Blackberry Metallic, I believe it's called Black Blackberry Metallic. It is absolutely beautiful, but I will show you all of the issues that this car has. I have recently purchased this car for my YouTube channel. I've wanted a 960 for quite some time, and this happens to be my all-time favorite color. It is causing me some dilemmas as to whether or not I keep this car, but I'm gonna stick with my 940, which you'll see if you follow the channel. Now, the fuel flap is in the back of the car, so it does have a fuel flap with it. I'll show you some of the imperfections. Now, there's basically trolley marks and dings and dents all over this car, but the key thing is, Prior to me having this car, I don't think it had ever been cleaned. I bought this off a chap who acquired the car when he sold a camper van. And the chap who bought the camper van off him said to him, um, can you take my car in part exchange? So he took it in part exchange. I wanted the roof rack off the top of it. I've taken the roof rack off the top of it and I happened to buy the car anyway. So I'll do a little YouTube review for my channel. And now the car is available for sale. It has been cleaned. And that's about it. It drives very nicely indeed. And I think if you were to spend some time with um, a bit of material and a bit of a product, you'd be able to mop this car up an absolute treat. I think the paint would come up really well. We haven't done a great deal with it. I've basically just paid for a 40 pound mini valet and um, it's come up looking like this. So damage on this front panel and then there's a crack on the indicator so something's gone down the side of the car and that shows on the door as well really not the end of the world can't really see much rust the tires are fairly new everything seems to work it's just paintwork really that this car suffers with paint down this one side is not fantastic um paint on the roof is not fantastic roof rack sorry sunroof is not fantastic i.e it's uh, held in by sellotape i don't know why people can't just fix things if your sunroof is leaking, it's very easy to fix on a Volvo. You just clean all the channels out. I've done it on my 940, um, but instead someone's taped that up. So sorry about that. Not that I did it. That was done by a previous owner. Okay, the boot struts don't stand up. They don't hold the, uh, don't hold the boot up. But again, ugh, I can tell you from experience, they're 13 pound off of eBay and they work a treat. So you've got a free um, boot holder or upper there and a couple of pieces of wood, which is nice, and a few carpets. I think the windows were tinted at some point, so you might want to sort out the window tints when you buy this car. And as I said, I think the paint would clean up quite nicely. Um, it's just kind of rough all around. There's obviously that's been scratched at some point, so that will need paint. But this side is the better of the two sides. The only major problem that you've got on this side is with this door here, where I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Well, rust. Rust is what's going on there on the door handle, but uh, nothing a bit of tea cut and a, and a mop. Can't sort out, am I right? Now, it's missing the Volvo center caps on um, two of the wheels, but I'd imagine they're pretty easy to pick up off of eBay. The tripod does not come with the car, but sadly the white paint on the seat does. Not quite sure about that. As you can see, sunroof on the inside. Now, the 960, the spec on a 960 is just lovely. Inside these cars are so luxurious and I would be lying if I said to you, this was not a comfortable car. This is the comfiest car I've ever had the pleasure of sitting in. Electronic seats, they don't work on the passenger side, but then they didn't work on the passenger side on that Saab I had recently. So I don't know whether that's a Swedish car thing. Strange wire up there in the corner. No idea what that is. 180,000 miles, but pretty good condition all around really uh apart from the steering wheel which i mean come on you just chuck a steering wheel cover on it don't you right should we have a little look under the bonnet pop that open up see if we can come around here see if we can just pop that up right that is an engine goodbye apparently the volvo didn't want to show you its engine today but I've driven this car for, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 miles, 100 miles. And um, it drives really, really nicely. It drives exactly as a 960 should. It's smooth, it's got plenty of power, it's quiet, it's refined, and it's also got a slightly low front tire, hasn't it? Probably should put some air in that. 
but um, it drives like a dream. It's a really lovely car. I think it's well worth you having a little bid on this. Um, it doesn't come with any service history at all. It doesn't actually even come with a V5, but I can sort that out with you. The car is taxed. This is exactly as I got it, except it's not as I got it because it looked like utter crap when I got it and it had a roof rack on it. The roof rack is now gone and it doesn't look like crap. This is a really nice car. There's not many of these for sale at all. This is the best color for a 960. You can't look at that car and tell me that that is not the best 960 color. Oh, what a luxurious looking car. And this would have been an expensive car back in the day. Let's not forget that. This was an expensive car. This is like levels of refinement and comfort that you'd find in a seven series. And I've had a few of those. Look at it from there. That is a fantastic looking car. So, Oh, we have got that fuel flap, by the way. The spring just popped out when I, when I filled up earlier on. Look, there it is. See, fuel flap. Right, electronic windows in the back. As I said, these were tinted at some point, so I would just spend a weekend and I would properly mop and valet and polish and mop and valet and polish and do the lot on it. And you, there's a door protector on, the, on that one door as well. That's all it needs. It wants some love. Obviously you give it a service because there's no record of it being serviced. But as I just said, I drove this car for an hour and a bit earlier on, on the motorway at motorway speeds and um, for a little while at autobahn speeds. And it's lovely, quiet, refined, doesn't overheat, doesn't seem to use any fluids, doesn't seem to lose any fluids on the drive or anywhere else. So, um, yeah, I would say have a cheeky bid on this car and um, see where the see where it ends up, you know? So thanks for looking at my um, video advert for my Volvo 960. Normally I'd sit down and talk you through the um, service history, but as this car literally doesn't come with any paperwork, it is what it is. You've just got to sort of take, take my word for it, but um, I've enjoyed my time with it and I'm sure you will too. Good luck if this goes on eBay and um, you know, it's, it's up for auction at 99p a pop. I wish you all the best for that. If you find it on Car and Classic or Facebook Marketplace or anywhere else that I decide to list it, um, you know, good luck, all the best, get in touch, make an offer, always up for taking a cheeky part exchange. I'll take something and cash on top, especially if it's something that I can um, make a YouTube video out of. That's always good. The more obscure, the better. I like old Swedish stuff. I like old BMWs. I like anything really. I'm not fussy. Um, and I'd like to know where this car goes. So if you buy it off me, keep in touch. I don't think it's a bad example. Um, you know, if you want to come around here and do one of them RAC checks, then you're probably an idiot because it is what it is. Um, I can tell you what it exactly is. It's the only one that's for sale in this color right now. So thank you very much for watching and uh, best of luck. Oh yeah, I can get into a 960. I'll have a gear please, Dave. Thank you, D, D for Dave. Right, so once you pop it in D for Dave, you're away. Seatbelt on. And it's so quiet in here, if there were any knocks coming from the suspension, you would hear them, but there's not. It's lovely, 180,444 miles, and it goes in a straight line, it brakes in a straight line. It does judder when you brake from like high speed down, so that is in line with the fact that this car has been sat for a little while. But as I said, I've driven this car um, I think it was about 80 miles home, and I loved every moment of it, apart from the bit when uh, Radio 2 came on and Jeremy Vine was talking. That was the only part of the journey that I didn't like, but thankfully, you can just turn it off. Um, there's a bulb on the dashboard telling me that there's a brake light out. Well, I can live with that, and hopefully you can live with that either. If you can't live with that, you probably shouldn't be following my channel, because um, it's old cars, isn't it? Drives absolutely lovely. Um, I mean, what is there to say? It's a beautifully smooth six cylinder 24 valve engine with an automatic gearbox and possibly the comfiest seats I've ever found in a car ever. So if the idea of a big old fashioned comfortable Swedish barge arouses you, then uh, get in touch and maybe buy this one because it's for sale. Unless you're watching this video like way in the future, in which case it's sold, but read the comments and check that it's still for sale first. All right, it's uh, June 2021. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Um, and good night. I don't know why I said good night. I just felt like it was the appropriate thing to do. Seriously though, it's really not bad. Um, I, I like it a lot. And I've already said to the wife, shall we keep it? And she's already said, we've already got one. Um, 
and I quite like my 940. I'm quite attached to my 940 and I don't know what this would be like on fuel long term. I mean, I am daily driving my 940, which is why I've gone for a four speed with overdrive. I don't know if daily driving a three litre straight six 24 valve Volvo is gonna be a sensible thing for me to do, despite how much I love the color. You basically gotta buy this car for the color, haven't you? Uh, yes, it's got a few knocks here and there, but whatever, it's a very, very cool car. to the credit because I'm done I've got nothing else to say just buy this car it's wicked it's a really nice car I can't like get that over to you any more than I have it's lovely it's the right color it's got the right interior it's got a key it's got an engine and it's got some doors yes you could buy one with service history but it's going to cost you thousands of pounds like lots more money okay and yes you could go on and you could buy one that's perfect but they're like six and a half grand now. These 960s are climbing in value like nobody's business. And I would rather chuck my money at a cheap one that I can improve that is already in the perfect color than compromising and buying one that's gray for loads more money. Let's say you bought this car and then you chucked a few hundred quid at it. You'd make a massive difference, you know? Treat the leather seats to a bit of love and then get all the outside done and, you know, a little bit of trim here and there, bit of a service got a really nice car that you can use every day that is super comfortable that you can take to car shows and then you can chuck all your surfboards on the roof the dogs in the back the children in the boot whichever way around you want to do it I don't care and um, it's just gonna get appreciated everywhere you go people stare at it because the color have I mentioned that it's a really nice color oh look at that Rover Coupe on wheel trims nice Oh, this is the problem now that lockdown's over. There's nowhere to film because all the hotels are full. Bugger. Anyway, thanks for watching.